Hi folks, it's just Amy and I wanted to do a little demo on how to snip and how to snap. Both of these tools might be very useful for you in your time here at WITC when submitting assignments or asking questions. The snip tool is down here on the bottom in my taskbar and what that allows you to do is to take a screenshot of something and then submit that or paste it into a document. To find that you can do a simple search down here um, and type in snip or you can go to your Windows button and go to your all apps and you can navigate to the snip tool. Again it looks like this tool right here and I use it so much that I have um, pinned it to my taskbar. To pin it, once you find the tool, you just right click on it and you pin it to your taskbar. I'm going to open that up right now. What happens is you'll get this box and it'll say new um, and you click on that and then your screen should gray out and you can go take a snip. So let's say I was having questions on an assignment. What you can do then is come in here and I'm going to use my highlighter tool and do something like that. And again, you have copy or save. I can paste that into a document. I can save it as a JPEG and upload that for assignments. So that's your snip tool. The next one that I tend to like is when I'm researching or working here on campus, I typically have two monitors. Um, and some of you may have two monitors at home, some of you may not. If you only have one, you can do something that's called snap. And you can take a screen and drag it to the left and it'll go on half of your screen. And the sheet shortcut is the Windows flag key on your keyboard and the arrows keys. And you can see now here that I could then select the right hand side. And so what this allows me to do is maybe um, be in Blackboard working on something and then I can have the internet open and, being, and doing some research there as well. So that's what snapping looks like. I hope that helps you and if you have any questions just feel free to contact me. Have a great day.